If you are a researcher or a student who is planning to start a research project or write a research paper or review or a thesis, then you must know what a literature review is and why is it important in the field of research. Hello and welcome back to research and publishing series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. And in today's video, you will learn what a literature review is and why it is important. Not only this, but you will learn how to write a perfect literature review for your research article or thesis. So do not skip this video and stay connected till the end. A review of literature is usually a portion of research document which is a systematic research of published research articles and other scientific literatures like theses, reports and books on a particular topic or area of your interest. But why is it essential to do a literature review and why is it a part of research article or thesis? It is important to perform literature review for several reasons. The number one reason is that it helps to create a background about the topic you want to start your research. If it is for your thesis or research article, it helps the readers to gather the background information before learning what new you have done. Literature review provides information about the existing literature, that is, what is already known about the topic. This way, it avoids unnecessary expense of time and energy on conducting research that is already being done. This ensures the novelty and originality of the research that you will do. While doing literature search, a researcher identifies the knowledge gap, limitation or challenges in the existing studies or methods. This leads to the foundation of his own research. You can check out this video to learn more about it. Performing critical literature survey helps a researcher to learn about the art of writing a research article or thesis. One can use it as a reference for building concepts, use methods, tools, analysis that are relevant for their own research. Now let's see how to write a review of literature from the scratch. Before we begin, one should understand that review of literature is not simply a compilation of existing research. Rather, it should provide critical analysis and synthesis of literature to help the readers understand the current state of research on a particular topic or the research question. So let's begin. The number one step is to identify a research question and topic you want to explore and write about. This will help you to stay focused and act as a guide to search only the relevant literature. This will also save your time searching and reading those articles that are really very important for you. Do not overgeneralize your search. At the same time, do not make your search too stringent to miss out some of the important resources. Choose right keywords while you search or download the literature. You may need to try different keywords when you perform search. Make sure you do not miss out the latest literature. You can watch this video to learn about the most useful websites and ways to download research articles for free. It is quite possible when you perform the literature search, you get hundreds of related articles and it appears overwhelming to read them all. So rather than fully reading all the papers, you should take an overlook of the paper. Like go through the abstract first to find out the relevance of the study. If you find the abstract interesting, you can take an overview of the whole paper like methods and the outcomes of their study. This way, it should not take more than 5 to 10 minutes per paper for you. The next step is organizing the literature you read or download. You can make a separate folder for all the papers on a particular aspect of your research. Rename the files so you can easily remember them. I prefer to assign a number followed by the author name and the year of publication to each paper. You can also make a literature library using reference management software like Zotero. It is a free and easy to use software in which you can create your library of research papers and automatically format the references. This saves a huge time. I personally like it and use it for my publication purposes. If you want to learn how to use it, I have made a complete tutorial on it in which I have explained from installation to building a library to formatting the references. If needed, you may check it later. Next important step where you have to seriously invest your mind is creating an outline of the literature review. This will help you structure your thoughts and begin writing. This will ensure that you cover all the important points that are essential to be included in the literature review. You can also make headings and subheadings for easy follow-ups. With the literature you have, try to collect similar information together. Analyze it to draw some conclusions. 
and synthesize a write-up in your own language. Look for similarities, contradictions, improvements in the methods while you read. Remember, review of literature is not about copying everything that is known about that topic. Rather, it is a critical analysis of existing literature, finding what is already known, pointing out the knowledge gaps to hypothesize and plan your own research. Check that your arguments and hypotheses are supported by the literature and are not baseless. Do not try to write entire literature review at once. Start finishing one section at a time to avoid getting overwhelmed by the existing information. Make gradual but consistent progress. When you write, do not forget to cite the original source from where you have taken the data. This way, you avoid plagiarism. Make sure you properly cite all the original sources, both in the text and the reference list. Follow proper citation and referencing style. You can use Zotero or Mendeley for this. Their tutorials are linked in the description below. Avoid jargon and technical terms. Your language should be clear, concise and easy to understand. If you want to use a figure or a table that is already being published in certain paper, do not forget to take the permission from the journal publisher, because citing them is not enough unless significant changes are being made. Once you have finished writing the review of literature, go through the entire document to check if it sounds to be in proper flow. The background, the knowledge gap and your hypothesis should be well connected. If required, revise and edit to ensure that it is well structured, clear to understand and free from grammatical errors. Once you are satisfied, get the feedback and help from your peers, co-authors or supervisor to refine your literature review. For you, some mistakes may go unnoticed, but others can easily point out those mistakes. So do not hesitate to get it checked from others and work upon useful suggestions. If you like the information, do not forget to share it with others. Also check out my playlist on research and publishing where you will find a lot more information on writing a research paper, review article, choosing a strong title, abstract, how to find suitable journal for publishing, how to write a synopsis, reference management, tips to publish quickly, publication process and lot more. Subscribe and stay connected for more such useful content.